Welcome to Book Talk. I'm Winston. I like to read good books, and you should too. Today we are talking about Hidden Mickey, Sometimes Dead Men Do Tell Tales, by Nancy Temple Rodriguez and David W. Smith. So what is a Hidden Mickey? A Hidden Mickey is the Mickey motif, the large circle that is his head with the two ears on either side. And especially you will find this in the parks, sometimes in the film or in other films or in other media, where these Mickey motifs are hidden away on pieces of the scenery or elsewhere around. It, it's a great pastime for fans to spot them and to challenge each other to find the most hidden Mickeys on uh, any given trip to the park. So what is Hidden Mickey the book? This is a series. There are four and a half uh, books in the Hidden Mickey series, the primary Hidden Mickey series, which involves the discovery by two friends of a secret letter, a secret message by Walt Disney himself saying, here is a secret quest find my hidden Mickeys, travel to all these different places, solve the puzzle, there is an unbelievable treasure at the end of it. Uh, book one is this, uh, this, this giant Mickey fetch quest, if you will, and it is heavily focused on the life of Walt Disney and him building the park and doing the things that allowed him to bring his dreams to reality. Book two picks up with uh, the characters from the previous uh, novel and moves forward and it is more focused on the park itself and protecting Walt's legacy going forward. And of course books three, four, and 4.5 are much more of a modern fairy tale of what kind of magical legacy has Walt Disney left behind. And I really, really enjoyed these books. They are wholesome fairy tale type adventure that are really strongly connected to the Disney parks and especially to the Disneyland in California. So if you know those parks, if you know Disneyland especially, you will be much more rewarded by these than uh, somebody who is not. But if you are not familiar with Disney at all, the adventure that they are going on is completely self-contained. You don't need additional knowledge. It will be rewarding all by itself. I thought they were great entertaining, uh, entertainment. I thought the adventure was solid. I loved the way the characters grew and progressed as the stories uh, you know, as the stories went forward, and I really liked the way everything wrapped up. And of course, at the end of everything, at the end of book four, then uh, it sets it up for us to move into series two, which is Hidden Mickey Adventures, which is the next generation of adventurers, and that's going to get a review all of its own. Book 4.5 is a wrap-up with uh, some of the other characters that is more focused on the fairy tale side of things. So if you love Disney lore, if you like Mickey Mouse, if you really have always thought that there, that there couldn't be something this magical, this mysterious, this all-encompassing without it actually being magical and mysterious and all-encompassing and we just can't see it all, you need to go on this Hidden Mickey quest all by yourself. So you know what your challenge is. Find the Hidden Mickey. Find a good book. Read it. This is a good book. Read this one. Uh, and of course, you can go to StarmanSaga.com for the Starman Saga. DianeDetzer.com for her Intergalactic League or CriticalPressMedia.com where you can find my books and all of these others that I'm helping to republish. Get this great science fiction and adventure stuff back into uh, mainstream. I want people to read all of these books. That's why I'm doing this. And I'm rambling, so I'm just saying, get out there, do all that. When you're done, come on right back here because there's more book talk yet to come.